Hey folks, it's me, Brenton, with RevitFamily.biz. I'm here today to show you uh, our cool window families for Revit. These are by far probably the best set of families you can get for Revit, period. They uh, look great, they're crazy parametric, and there's about any window you could imagine, and the best part is they're bundled together so you don't have to go searching across the internet for the different kinds of windows and they all match uh, and they match with our doors and cabinets as well so if you use our other families these will be similar in style and functionality they also incorporate over four years of user feedback and you know improvements so you get all that in one nice little bundle Okay, so just to introduce you to them, they come in three different styles. So what you're looking at here is a colonial style. So you can see the mullions are um, colonial and then the trim, oops, let me click on one of these, the trim packages on the interior and the options on the exterior will all complement a colonial pattern. They also come in this prairie style. So you can see the mullions are now more prairie style. And then the options for trim will coordinate with the prairie style mullions. Or there's a craftsman style. And again, the trim packages that come embedded in the windows will complement the, the um, <clears throat> craftsman style mullions. So that's our first thing, those three styles. Then in each of those three styles, you get a bunch of different windows. So I'm just going to quickly go over what those windows are. Um, along here on the bottom row, these are all the fixed windows, so the non-operable. And we have a skylight. Then you have your semicircle, your round, your oval, an arched fixed window, and a regular rectangular fixed window. Then up above here are your operable windows. This is an awning window. Then we have a double hung window. Um, a slider window, double casement window, single casement window, and then these two last ones are folding windows. One is a single-sided folding, and this one's a double-sided folding. So let me just show you what that looks like in plan. Uh, you can see that the operable windows in plan view, they all show their operation. It also is like that in elevation view, if we look at them in elevation. You can see anything that's operable gets its operable symbol. Those symbols can be turned on and off depending on how you like your drawings to look. In addition to all of these windows that are pretty standard, you're going to get window groups. So these are super helpful because they save a ton of time if you want to place a, a bunch of windows. Normally you would have to manually place each one of these uh, by hand and it would take a fair amount of time. Then you'd have to separately trim it out with all these different trim pieces. So your overall trim and then your intermediate trim. Um, so the first thing these do is save you time. The second thing these window groups do is they allow you to schedule and tag the group as one window. But they still allow you the option if you don't want to do that you can still tag them separately. Each window can be separately tagged and scheduled if you want. It, it's up to you. But you didn't have that option, or you don't have that option if you're just placing single windows and you want them to be a group. There's no practical way to tag them or schedule them as one window. So you get that. And then um, these come in uh, kind of, I've divided them into three varieties. This first row is just, you can see, grouping of single windows. And then the other two groups include a transom. So this middle group, it's got a transom above the window, but the transom matched the number of windows below. And then up here, you can see it's just one transom that spans the whole group of windows. So ideally, this covers 98% of anything people are wanting to do with windows and you get them in one easy package. They all coordinate each with each other. Their trim all coordinates. You don't have to search. And then the cool thing is the parameters on these are really, really, really good. So let's just pick this awning window as an example. You can 
click on it and if we look over here under graphics you can change the way the trim looks or uh, appears so you can see we can shut off all the trim interior and exterior so now the windows aren't trimmed in case you have your own trim work you want to do or special case scenario but there's also scenarios where for instance on a lot of my projects I put a Wayne's coating so we would have, this is a, maybe a hot, hardy board exterior, and then maybe there's a stone wainscoting up to three feet where the bottom of the window is. Normally I would have a transition strip here. So we would have a wall sweep that's a transitioning between the stone and the hardy board. And if I leave these windows trimmed the way they are, my transition strip is going to conflict with every single window for, uh, trim. So what we can do is we can show just the top portion of the trim and then our wall sweep can be the bottom portion of the trim. And then on the interior sometimes what happens is we don't always frame the whole window like that but we do usually put a seal. So on the interior we can choose to hide the trim but show the seal. And there we go it puts a seal but no trim around the rest of the window. Additionally, if we continue down with our graphics parameters, we can just show, or we can just choose to show no mullions. Maybe we want a nice picture window with it, it's got a view and we don't want mullions in it. So we can do that very easily. Uh, we can put those back. So the other thing we can do is let's flip to Colonial. This is most apparent with Colonial. You can. By default, when you resize or give a, a window a dimension, the family will automatically calculate the number of vertical mullions and horizontal mullions for you. But if you don't like the default calculation that it's doing, you can overwrite it over here in graphics. So right now we have got one, two, three, four horizontal mullions, but maybe we want six. So we're just gonna come over here and put six. And instead of two vertical, maybe we want three. So we're going to put that in, we're going to come out here and click, and it will well, it'll put in the amount of mullions we want. And it'll just distribute them evenly across the width and the height. Um, okay, the next thing we can talk about is the actual trim style. You can change that, and you can change the mullion style. So maybe we just want horizontal or maybe we just want vertical because maybe we're in a situation where this window is so short that it doesn't make sense to have a horizontal mullion we just want vertical mullions only so if we were in that instance we could just go to our type parameters and here we've got trim style exterior and trim style interior oh sorry we were talking about mullion so mullion styles also you can change so let's just change it to a vertical mullion style and then let's change the interior and exterior trim. Loaded into each family is a handful of trims that would complement a colonial style mullion. So let's pick for the interior, or the exterior I mean. Let's do flutes and rosettes, and then just to be different on the interior, let's do a traditional colonial style trim. And if we click OK, it's going to regenerate that for us. So now we've got flutes and rosettes on the outside and on the interior we have kind of this more colonial looking header piece and trim out. Then of course there's all and then you see that it changed the vertical mullions. Then you have all your other standard parameters you'd expect for a window. Height, width, rough opening, um, materials, all of those are included as well. So that's a really quick tour of everything you get with this window package. Again, like I said, it's amazing. Uh, we also give you, in addition to the window families, we give you face-based trim families. So you can also, if you need to trim something else out in your project, or you have a unique group of windows uh, that we don't cover here, you can still um, trim those out and match all of the other windows in your project. All right, guys, 
Like I said, these are amazing. You won't find anything as cool as these windows. They will definitely save you time. And you can get them at our website, revitfamily.biz. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, and if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to make comments below or check us out on our website. You can contact us there as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.